Kepada honorable members, honorable member, you'll realize that the following speaker is uh, honorable Esther Hazen from the IFP, but uh, because of the honorable Carter's engagement somewhere else, there's been, it has been agreed that they will swap. So we now call on Honorable Carter, number nine. Thank you. Chairperson, thank you. As everyone's been dedicated speeches, I've decided to dedicate my speech as well, and that is to the South Africans and to our nation that is really suffering from the lack of energy in this country. Chairperson, in the State of a Nation Address, the President referred to the triple challenges of poverty, inequality and unemployment. Without serious and sustained economic growth, we will, as a nation, not be able to attend to these challenges. In fact, the President said, we require faster economic growth, acknowledging that the economy has grown below its potential over the last three years. The President noted, that the prolonged and at time violent strikes and the shortage of energy was cause of slow growth. For a considerable period of time, experts have warned government of an impending structural shortage and our government under the leadership of the ANC has denied it. The shortages of generating capacity and cost has had a direct impact on our ability to create a growing economy hurting our country now and into the future. The completion of Madupi has been delayed, delayed and costs have escalated. Has anyone accounted for the mess that we find ourselves in? Has anyone been held accountable? Has anyone accepted any responsibility? Reports indicated further delays. The deadline supposed to be December with the first steady output in April next year but reports in the city press says this appears to have been quietly moved to the end of June next year. Minister, we need to be continually updated with regard to the completion of this project. I won't address the issue of Chancellor House and the ANC enrichment due to time constraints. Safe to say it was deplorable. Profiteering, out of, profiteering by the ANC out of their mistakes at the nation's expense. The One President minute. indicated clearly that government will pursue the shell gas, gas issue option. This is a emotive issue fraught with significant environmental concerns. It is imperative to give urgent attention to providing a sound policy and legislative process. The matter requires significant public consultation. Chair, another impending crisis is called maintenance, particularly at municipal level. For more than a decade, municipalities have neglected the maintenance of electrical reticulation infrastructure. Recently, the Department of Energy had to once again bail out the capital of KwaZulu-Natal, Peter Maritzburg, with funding to save its ability. It's been painful and it has hurt us. Without energy, we cannot grow the economy. Without a growing economy, we cannot develop as a nation. Without development, we cannot ensure a better life for all. The vision set out in the NDP needs to be put into goals and time frames. Honorable member, your time has expired. I thank you. Thank you, Honorable Carter.